Hey guys, my name is Shai and I want to talk about how I have recently <laughs> realized that respect is a wonderful, beautiful, most incredible antidote to my worry. And <laughs> the antidote to worry is apparently respect, or at least one of the antidotes. And it's a little funny to say that because I have always thought of myself as somebody who was respectful, right? I, I thought I was respectful about people and the world. But, and even though I think that was true, I'm really realizing over the past couple of days how there are these like avenues of respect or spectrums even of respect, levels of spiritual respect, I would even say, that I was not really exploring and that every single time I worry about something and I have spent a lot of my life worrying about stuff every time I'm worrying about something that's basically an invitation to get me to think about how can I bring more respect into this situation and man I mean if you watched the starseed reading I did a few days before, like the last video I posted before this video, then you've already heard me talk about this. That's when this started really like sinking home for me. I've been practicing this for the, um, you know, for like 48 hours or whatever it's been since then. And man, every time I find myself anxious or worried, I have really just been practicing, okay, how can I get more respect into the situation? And it is the most effective practice I have ever come across in my life for dissolving anxiety and worry. It's like, wow, I... <laughs> How did I not know this before, right? How did I never try this before? Um, and this works in all directions, in all levels. So, you know, it depends on what I'm worrying about. Say, imagine I'm worried about the planet uh, and then it's like, okay, um, what is that point? What kind of lack of respect is that pointing out? If I'm worried about the planet, then I guess I was not really respecting the consciousness of the planet as a sovereign being who is taking care of herself, right? When I respect Mother Gaia as a sovereign being who is on top of it and who is in charge of the show here, then my worry about the planet just dissolves, right? It dissolves and then I feel oh, so much relief on that. It's like, okay, there wasn't actually anything to worry about. Gaia's on this, right? Um, if I'm worrying about someone I know, someone I know, right? Worrying about the problems in their life or worrying about where they're at, well then, I, I was like, okay, how can I respect them more? How can I respect that they are the sovereign creators of their reality and that they chose the circumstances of their life for reasons that maybe I don't know about, right? I can't imagine why they created their life the way they did. I don't know why their higher self put them in the situation that they're in, but I can absolutely respect that they got this, that they can absolutely handle it and that there are reasons, it's like, I can respect that there is something that put them in that situation and I can also respect that their situation has is part of their path moving forward and that it's going to bring them to some type of conclusion that maybe I can't imagine, right? But their higher self is on it. You know, they are not just their human, small human self with their small human mind. They are a magnificent creator being expanded of expanded consciousness and that they got it. They got their life. And when I was, I was really thinking about this one, because I was like, okay, is there anybody in my life that I never worry about? And I got three people came right up in my mind. My husband, my dad, and my grandpa. <laughs> Interesting theme there. <laughs> um, and I realized, I was like, wow, I never worry about them because they are probably three of the people that I re respect the most and that I, I respect their competence and I respect their ability to just handle whatever it is that is thrown their way. It's like, I don't, I don't worry about any of them. I mean, only two of them are alive right now. But <laughs> um, I don't worry about them because no matter what happens, I know that they got it, right? I respect that they got it. I respect that they are totally on top of their life, right? And that they can handle it no matter what life throws at them. So yeah, respecting others. And of course this comes down to like respecting myself, right? If I'm worrying about myself, um, for example, worrying like, am I gonna get into an accident, right? Sometimes I start thinking like, oh, if I go outside, it's like maybe I draw the tower card that morning and I, and I like, oh, like, should I stay inside? What if I get hit by a car or something like that? Um, and I have been hit by a car twice, like in a crosswalk. So, you know, I, I have that worry in the back of my head, but can I respect myself enough to go, hey, like, the expanded version of myself, the part of me that is greater than my human mind, is on top of this and is creating all of this with purpose, with reason, and as part of a greater picture. Can I respect myself enough to trust myself? And this is like, 
Can I trust my past selves? Can I respect my past self? I can look at myself from 10 years ago and go, how was I ever like that? And I can, and I could get down on myself for decisions that my past self made, or I can trust and respect my past self and go, okay, she wasn't quite where you are now, but she was doing the best she could in the situation that she was in with the level of consciousness that she was at. She did the best she could. I'm going to respect her decisions. I'm going to respect her choices and just respect that she did okay, right? She did okay. And she was on point because I am always on point because I respect myself enough to know that I am always on point. Even if I <laughs> feel sometimes like I make missteps, it's all part of this larger pattern and any little missteps don't really matter, right? If you're going on a hike and you stumble a few times on the hike, but you still make it to the top of the mountain, does it really matter that you stumbled a few times? No, right? doesn't matter. Um, but I was also, this is coming back to like even respecting the cycle of life and death, which is a big theme right now because of the Taurus North Node. If you've been watching my channel, you've been hearing me talk about that. You're probably getting sick about that. But even, even that, respecting the process of life and death and re respecting like free will and choice and respecting that everything happens as a, as a free will choice, right? Um, this one's a little harder. <laughs> this is a little harder, but I look at it like this. I go, okay, first, how, 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 where can I start with this? I go, okay, I can, I can believe, I can trust, I feel that we all choose the moment of our birth, right? We choose our parents, we choose the moment we're born, we choose, we choose the astrological influences that we're born under, and that that is a choice. Um, can I, can I view death the same way? Death, right, is a trans, is a birth back into non-physical. Can I also, <laughs> can I also trust and respect the entire process and respect other people's free will and my free will even to choose the moment of my death just the way I chose the moment of my birth? And maybe there are multiple, like, transition points to choose from, right? I don't feel, maybe some people sign up with a specific soul contract to have a specific time that they leave their body, but I feel that for most of us actually have a variety of exit points to choose from. Um, and that's a choice that we are continuously making as we live our lives. So, <laughs> you know, if I'm worried about getting hit by a car, I can go, wait, okay, can I trust that, you know, my soul, my consciousness, my inner being is on this, my higher self is on this, and that I'm not going to randomly leave my body at the wrong time, right? Whenever I do leave my body, it is going to be a right time for me. And I can also trust that even if I get hit by a car and I, I end up in some kind of, um, you know, injury, that that injury is also part of my process, part of my journey, part of my experience. And can I just respect this entire game, this entire system, this entire experience of life on earth? And I'm finding that, yes, I can. <laughs> I can. I really can respect it. And so those are just some examples of the way I've been working through this. Um, basically, whenever I find myself worrying, I, I start asking myself those questions. What can I respect? How can I bring more respect into the situation? How can I respect free will? How can I respect choice? How can I respect um, that everything has is part of a bigger picture, that everything is part of a benevolent system, and that everything is part of Ah, uh, you know, th that we all, that we all, that everything, everyone, all beings, all consciousness has a level of consciousness that is an expanded point of view, right? The higher self, the source consciousness, the universal mind, God, goddess, most high, right? Whatever you want to tune into, that there is this higher level bird's eye view consciousness that is, that understands the bigger picture, right? That understands the bigger picture. Can I respect that? And see if it comes down to, can I respect like I worry about my dog, right? Because my dog's a chihuahua and he's my little baby. And, you know, of course I worry about him because he's like my little fur baby. <laughs> but it's, can I respect my chihuahua and know that even though sometimes I worry that, you know, oh, what if something happened to me? Who's going to look after him, right? Like no one's going like, to look after him. Like I look after him, that kind of thing. Can I respect that he is also a sovereign being? And though even though he is a chihuahua and he's domesticated and he depends on humans, he also can he knows how to get his needs met, right? He knows how to get his needs met. Trust me, like if, if, he, if he were lost in the world and he got hungry and scared, he would just walk up to somebody and like look at them with his puppy dog eyes and he'd, be, he'd get himself taken care of that way, right? Can I trust that my dog has his own guidance system, has his own guides and, you know, processes looking after him, right? Gaia is looking after him and he also can look after himself. I might sometimes baby him and think of him as my little baby, but 
really like he is also a sovereign being and he can also get himself taken care of right he he and he has his own guidance system right he he's not just lost to the wind he is also being taken care of and basically <laughs> i'm finding that when i do these do this like little thought spiral where i bring more respect into the situation it has it's like I've never like I have spent all of my life trying to figure out how to drop out of worry and drop out of anxiety and this this has been helping me faster and more consistently than anything else I have ever tried like ever in a lifetime of trying to overcome anxiety this works fast it has been helping me so much um, so of course if you try it and you know maybe you're not having instant results that's fine because you know you got, you got to be like in the right place for these kind of things to like click in and, and to work. So don't feel like you fail if you try to practice this and you don't have instant results the way I'm describing. That's fine. Keep working at it. Keep working at it. Keep just bringing yourself back into that place of respect, right? It can be something that you practice over time. There is no reason that it should click into place instantly for you just because it did for me. Re again, respect your own time. Respect your own processes. Respect your own emotional state for wherever you are right now, right? You can respect where you are right now, respect that you are going somewhere brighter and lighter and that everything will click into place exactly when it is supposed to for you, right? So even if something doesn't seem to be working for you, respect that, respect where you are and respect where you're going. So I think that's all I got for this one. I love you guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.